American uh, uh, literary critic and poet, uh, George Edward Woodbury, he says, defeat is not the worst of failures. Defeat is not the worst of failures. Not to have tried is the true failure. Yes. Yes. Not to have tried in the few, in the, in the, is the true failure. Um, uh, and he's speaking about perspective here. He's speaking about perspective. And oftentimes, when it comes to success uh, in our own lives, uh, it, it often depends on perspective. Say perspective. perspective. We see these pictures on, on the TV, and we watch the commercials, and we see this great looking food, right? And uh, we see a good burger. I love a good burger. And if you're from Montclair, you know about Smash Burger. <laughs> Say amen if you know about Smash Burger. <laughs> And uh, you see this picture of this burger, and what starts to happen? Your, your stomach starts making noises. Where are all the foodies like me at? Where are y'all at? Like, oh, you love some good food. And your stomach starts making noises, and it starts moving around. And, and then what happens? Your mouth starts to, to get all moist, and, and you start making noises like, mmm, mmm, woo, woo. And then uh, if you're really a foodie like me, then your eyes will start to get watery. <laughs> And I don't know if it's because it just looks so good or because you're sad that you don't have it in front of you. Uh, uh, but so it looks so good. It looks so good. But here's the thing. It's just a picture. And no matter how hard you try to, uh, uh, to, to eat it, you cannot eat a picture of a burger. And, and even but what happens when you see this picture and you say, I'm going to go out to the store and get it. And don't they make it look really good? with all the toppings, and uh, it looks fresh, and it looks hot, and then you get it in front of you, and what? It doesn't taste like what it looks like. When they would say it's mm, good, it's really not as good. And that's what we do uh, in life sometimes. We try to measure our lives based off of pictures of success. Based off of what we think success looks like. Perhaps we begin to base it off of sometimes what sin would tell us is success. Uh, and sin would give us temporary moments of success, quote unquote, right? And we begin to base our lives on those feelings. Uh, but a God success is true success. Yeah. Say that. Say a God success yeah. is true success. Yeah. It's true success. So when you have God success, He'll give you a victory from behind. When you have God success, uh, He'll qualify you even when the world says that you're unqualified. When you have God success, you become this. The house that God built. Amen. 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 Say that. Say, when I have God's success, I, God's success, I, become, I become the house, the house that, God built. that God built. Psalm 127, verse 1, it says this. Unless the Lord builds the house, then its builders labor in vain. And what we begin to do, we begin to build our house of success based off of these pictures. Uh, and, and when we begin to take the role of God, when we begin to take the role of God, building our house of success, quote unquote, when we take the role of God, what happens is that we become a God against God. But if God is our builder, if God is our engineer, if God is our architect, and then, you know, if Baal is God, serve him. But if the Lord be God, then serve him. But what happens is we make this picture of success. Success. And we start building our house on our own and not really allowing God to build our house. So here it is. We become a God against God. If you know God ain't going to allow nobody else to be God but God. So we become an engineer against God. We become an architect against God. We become a builder against God. We become a God as you may have been a God of your own house, building your own idea of success. But there's something called a turnaround. And just know that you can turn yourself around and allow yourself to be back in the potter's hand and allow God to take control of being that builder again. Say, God is my builder. God is my builder. So here it is. You become a God against God. But we say, now that I want to experience this turnaround, uh, I'm going to let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let these pictures of success be scattered. Let God arise and let these ideas and these sinful states that bring you that temporary success, let those things be scattered. 
and let God become your builder and your architect once again. The scripture says that the potter made it again another vessel and yeah. seems good for the potter. That's right. And seemeth good for the potter. Not it seemeth good to me. That's right. Not it seemeth good to you. Amen. But you can say, you know what? If I am what seems good to the father, to Father Potter, that is success. That's right. Amen. He made it again another vessel. So here it is. Someone could have been looking at this marred piece of clay mm -hmm. as he made it again another vessel. They could have been saying, what in the world? That thing is not put together. Mm -hmm. It still has some cracks. Mm -hmm. It still has some failures in it. Yeah. It still has some discrepancies. Mm -hmm. But it ain't about that. That's right. It's not about the pictures. But it's about what seems good to the pot. 